Hey guys, this is the Clear English Corner, and I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about funny things that happen with the T sound in English. If you've seen this lesson, you know that Americans do a lot of funny things with the T sound that make that sound distinct in the American accent versus other varieties of English. We pop the T, we flap the T, we hold the T, and sometimes the T vanishes altogether. In this lesson, we talked about how the T sound often disappears when it comes after the N, N consonant in an unstressed syllable. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about another time when that T tends to disappear. Knowing about this pattern is going to make a lot of words and word combinations a heck of a lot easier to pronounce. So let's dive in. So here's the skinny. When the T sound comes between two other consonant sounds at the end of a word or even between words, that T is likely going to disappear. This happens a lot when adding S as an ending to a word that ends in a T cluster or a consonant plus T. For example, take the word fact fact. We have a very clear k -t blend at the end of this word, fact. But if we add an s to the end to make it plural, it becomes facts. Facts. What the heck? Where's the t? Facts. You don't know all the facts. You don't know all the facts. Let's take a look at the facts. Let's take a look at the facts. Here's another example product, product. Again, a very clear k -t blend at the end of this word, k -t product, product. But what if I add an apostrophe s in order to contract product is into products, products. Are products the perfect solution? Are products the perfect solution? Another example, gift gift, a very clear f, -t, f plus t consonant cluster at the end of this word, gift. If I add an s at the end to make it plural, it becomes gifts, gifts. You have many gifts. You have many gifts. Put the gifts on the table, please. Put the gifts on the table, please. Here's a few more examples. Protect, protect. Again, a k KT cluster at the end of this word. If I add an S, it becomes protects, protects. This protects your skin in the sun. This protects your skin in the sun. It protects against water damage. It protects against water damage. Attempt, attempt. A P -t PT cluster at the end of this word. We add an S to the end, it becomes attempts attempts. We already made three attempts. We already made three attempts. He attempts his best every time. He attempts his best every time. One of the most common T clusters you'll see at the end of words is the combination of S and T in words like fast and just. But here again, that T sound is going to disappear when it comes between two consonant sounds, even if that next consonant sound is at the beginning of the next word. Let's take a look at some more examples. Just, just, a clear st, st cluster at the end of this word. But if I add another word right after the word just that starts with a consonant sound, like the word said, just said becomes just said. I just said that. I just said that. Just jealous becomes just jealous. He's just jealous. He's just jealous. Just lucky. Just lucky. I guess I'm just lucky. I guess I'm just lucky. Best. Best place. This is the best place. This is the best place. Best choice. Are you sure that's the best choice? Are you sure that's the best choice? 
Do you hear it? The T is falling away. Are you sure that's the best choice? Best man. May the best man win. May the best man win. Let's play around with the word must. That must be really hard. That must be really hard. It must not be that important. It must not be that important. Most. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Most ridiculous. Most ridiculous. She's the most qualified candidate. She's the most qualified candidate. This is the most common. This is the most common. Almost. Almost. We almost made it. We almost made it. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Let's try the word suggest. Suggest. I suggest we try something different. I suggest we try something different. Suggest we. Suggest we. I suggest we try something different. She'd never suggest that. Suggest that. She'd never suggest that. Interesting, right? Let's practice one more. This word, last. Last night becomes last night. Last night. You won't believe what happened last night. You won't believe what happened last night. Last chance becomes last chance. Last chance. This is your last chance. This is your last chance. Last day becomes last day. Last day. It's the last day to register. It's the last day to register. So much easier to say it that way. Last day. And that, my friends, is exactly why this happens. The T falls away when it comes between two other consonants at the end of a word or in between words because it's easier to say it that way. And our speech muscles will follow the path of least resistance. Someone who's been speaking English their entire life never thinks about the fact that the T disappears between two consonants at the end of a word and between words. It just happens because it's easier to say it that way. So I share this insight with you today, hoping that it'll make some words and word combinations easier for you to pronounce. Just a few words of caution. You wanna remember when we're talking about pronunciation that we're talking about sounds and not letters. Even though this word ends with four consonant letters, there's only actually two consonant sounds, the t, t and the s. The i, g, h combination in this word actually makes one vowel sound, the i as in white, nights, nights. Even though there's six letters in this word, there's only four sounds. Nights. N, I, T, S, nights. So don't drop the T here. It's not nights, it's nights. Same thing with this word, lights. Same pattern. Don't drop the T here. Also, the T does not fall away when you have an NT consonant cluster at the end of a word. We Americans do a funny thing with the NT combination, making it a sound in and of itself. And if you want to learn more about that, you should definitely check out this video here. I'll be sure to link to it in the video description. So W-A-N-T-S is once. It doesn't become ones. Students doesn't become students. Students. Points doesn't become points, points. She wants to give the students bonus points. She wants to give the students bonus points. And finally, another important point to remember, when the R sound comes at the end of a word or syllable, it's considered a vowel linguistically. So in a word like starts, even though you see three consonant letters, the R, the T, and the S, you actually have one vowel sound and two consonants, the R plus the T, T and S starts. Don't drop the T here. Same thing with words like flirts and supports. That vowel plus R is a vowel sound. 
All right, so I hope I didn't just confuse you completely. The most important thing to remember is that when the T sound comes between two consonant sounds at the end of a word or in between two words, that T sound is likely going to disappear. You don't need to worry about getting that T in there in combinations of words like just need, just need. I just need a minute. I just need a minute. And you don't need to worry about getting that T in there in words like projects, effects, directs, perfects, and acts. Whew, that's a relief, right? All right, I hope you found the lesson helpful. If you did, please be sure to share with friends. Also, don't forget to visit the Clear English Corner blog for a list of all the practice words and sentences used in this lesson. I'll be sure to share a link for you in the video description. If you want to learn more about all the funny things Americans do with the T sound, be sure to check out this lesson. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.